good morning merry christmas on january 7th i do not wish to be awake right now but i gotta get the potatoes going and yes i just chopped all my hair off yesterday um so we got home really late and I went to bed really late, so that's why I'm tired. But I am excited about the day. Plans are a little bit different. My stepson and those grandkids aren't going to be coming today, but we're still going to have a blast and celebrate the holidays together. Eat some great food. Have a good day. Thanksgiving bread or her rolls that I made was a bust so I swore I was gonna just buy some this year but I decided to make some dinner rolls so let this baby proof maybe they're not the most beautiful but I think they're my best ones yet I get so much joy out of making bread because it's magic. Little baby. Back to little babies to proof again. Why? <laughs> you can't even tell? Oh my god! <laughs> I told you my brain doesn't work at full capacity. You did it without me! I didn't even cut mine off! I didn't know. Oh, I don't know. You can tuck it. I love it. I want to cut mine off now. <laughs> Christmas no and set there and watch the car door. You said a piece in there? Babe, come on! Silver dollars is what I need. The thing is beeping already. It's time to eat. What yeah, is it? What's beeping? My tongue tells you, girl. I don't know why I'm telling you having to do this. Mine ain't scratching. I can't do I can't hold my phone and scratch it at the same time. You're oh, you're recording it. <laughs> oh, they're scratching. Look, mom's scratching. I'm scratching. Oh, look, that's the way to go right there. Pop's trying to go. None of mine makes sense. I know what you're having. You already know? Yeah. Oh, you got it. Oh, I got it. I got it. <laughs> show it! Brady was right. No, no, show it. Yeah, no. Why? I got it. I got it. 
I mean, I only did two rows. But I got it. <laughs> How these kids already beat you on scratch? I got it. Their edits actually really hard. So, <laughs> a baby boy! <laughs> you have it! A little boy, brother? Do you want to open? Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. That's yours, Uncle Greg. It's yours, Greg. And he goes, Thank you for getting that for me. Come on. It's close to tell you. And you were not. Oh, I got your address. <laughs> I thought it was funny. Oh, I got a baby bag. Are we having a baby? <laughs> Who is it? It goes on the wall. Yes. What'd you get, babe? Oh. 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 Look at that. I'm the buggy. I'm the buggy. I'm the buggy. Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh. This Where is like our one we took our picture in. Yeah. Look, babe. Start to take another photo. <laughs> That's not the same one. I know, but it's like the same thing. We take a picture. We try to do one every year. We did one at the wedding, oh, too. Now you ain't got to come over here to watch people. Oh. <laughs> so coming over. No, he didn't. I swear to God. I love it. Ow, ow, ow. Isn't that cool? Yeah. I love mine. Thank you, Katie. Yes! And there's a cowboy game today! <laughs> you gonna be ready!
Oh, I'm proud. Katie got nothing too. <laughs> I got nothing. What'd you get? What is that? I don't know. It looks like it. I got this. Y'all, this is crazy. Squirt gun. Oh wow! I got a Red. I got a What'd you get, Pop? No you got a crown. Mm. Can you do it? <laughs> I don't know what this does. Yep, I did. Go. Your mouth. I got. It. Here, I got two. So. Here's the white. Gold. 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 Let me see that tag. Well, you thing we did today. What? Uh, let me see that tag. How you wrote to Linda oh. from Santa. Hey, Aww. Who's from Santa? <laughs> I believe in Santa. That was Santa. Sucker. 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 Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. I know. This is strange. Whoa. Oh, my gosh. It's not as sticky anymore.
Hey, what you got there on your lap? The greatest blanket ever. You're riding with it? Yeah. Oh my God, I love you. It has been about a week since we had our little makeup Christmas. Um, so I feel like I needed to do a recap video on the gift I got from my stepdaughter and um, my advent makes. Um, as far as the day, it was absolutely magical. I am also so glad that my mother-in-law decided to, you know, visit and then wait till after everybody has left and like and fully enjoy the visit and then we cleaned up after. I feel like every year I try to get her to do that and she ends up cleaning it all while we're all visiting and that's a lot to do by yourself. So I'm glad that we got to clean it all up together and I feel like it made the job a little bit easier. Well, at, le at least I hope it made it easier on her. It also, you know, was cool to be able to share all those special memories. The indoor snowballs, even though I carried it outside, I didn't want there to be an issue of us messing up any Christmas decor in the house or any anything because this family will get crazy. Plus, it gives more area for everybody to run around and... It was unfortunate that my stepson and his family was not able to participate and wasn't here um, because it could have been that much more wild with more little ones too. But it was a lot of fun to see my mother-in-law and father-in-law also participate and like give their full effort. <laughs> this family can be very competitive. I didn't end up putting in like a yellow snowball. Uh, I hear like you could include a yellow snowball and whoever gets hit by the yellow snowball is out. Then, you know, it would really have created some more competition. Um, but yeah, I didn't have anything like fully explained. I just wanted them to get it when we opened it and like be like, oh, and then start throwing it at each other. And that, that would, that went very well and nobody was injured. They, it was like nice soft hits. Um, so yeah, it went well. My stepdaughter got me the most thoughtful gift. I joked about it being a diaper bag, but, uh, because I feel like nowadays they have diaper bags that are kind of like this style. Um, but it's not a diaper bag. This is full on a yarn storage bag. I guess this brand has various, styles of bags they have um a casual day pack cosmetic bags laptop briefcases toiletry bags and then the yarn storage bag ludes 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 yeah um there are pockets galore it's it's pretty massive and then like the whole thing this has like a hard piece around the top so i'm sure if i put stuff in it like it would open up and it lays flat on its own and then it's got like this handle here with a little snap. I haven't even taken obviously the tag off. So then you can open it here. I only just found this when I pulled this out for recording because I was like, what is in here? You see, cause the cord right there, this can be really hard to show y'all. But um, there's a little pack here. It has a little charge lightning bolt on it and you could put a USB in there. So I could put the power bank in the bag and then plug in my charger cable and be able to charge my phone. Then the side pockets here are pretty big and there are grommets on both sides. I don't always use grommets, you know, like when you, you kind of get stuck, stuck having to keep it in there. But say if you were working on like a granny square or some kind of style like that, where you would be switching a lot of colors, you're going to be snipping anyways. So it, with that, it would be easier, like a scrappy project, it would be easy to put all of that in such a big bag like this. Plus there's so many compartments um, and you could still use the grommets. So on the back, there is this uh, like clear area and I almost think you could probably put a pattern there and be able to view it, you know, while you're working on something. There's also another big pocket behind it, but I think that that is like to put it onto luggage. Like it's not really like a pocket pocket, you know what I mean? So you know how you could like pull the bag onto like the rolly handle thing? 
Um, yeah, I think that's cool. And then in the front, there's also, there's this pocket, which is pretty shallow. It goes like right here. Um, but still cool. Like I love an accessible pocket like that. Then there's also another front pocket right here, which is like the depth of this whole thing right here, obviously. And this pocket's pretty cool. Zips all the way around and flaps down. And these go all the way down. So like this, this part, it goes all the way down. So say if you had like a long straight needle or like a Tunisian straight hook, that could go all the way the length of this. Um, and there's some elastic there, so it could protect your head of it, whatever it is. Um, yeah, there. I mean, that's just, what would I use all these pockets for? I don't know. And then there's all these pockets here. So I feel like you could put your crochet hooks in the elastic part. And this is clear here. So you could clearly see the sizing on whatever hook that you put there. These are zipped clear compartments, so you could put notions and be able to visibly see what you're pulling out of there as well. And the inside, I don't even know how I'm going to show you the inside. The There's just so many pockets. Like There are also clear sections for more notions right here. And then this back area, you could put like a laptop there if you wanted to. Um, and then there's like two side pockets and then there's two pockets up there and two park pockets on the bottom and the bottom part is just humongous i mean yeah pockets on pockets on pockets this is for sure a supreme yarn bag uh it, it is pretty let's see i'll put strap like zip this part and strap it all shut you know this these little end bits are probably supposed to go on the inside. I don't know. So maybe they don't stick out. Is that what people do? Let's try that. Um, anyway, so there we go. So I could show you what it looks like if you were to wear it. Although there's nothing in it. it you could take so many projects with you somewhere and then be able to set the bag down and have it fully open and easy. Like it feels pretty lightweight on its own too. So even if you add stuff, it's not going to be, I feel like a little schoolgirl. <laughs> anyway, I'm excited about that. That was a nice random fun, fun thing to get. I know sometimes she really thinks about like what I like the yarn life that I like. You know, one year for my birthday, she made me like a, one of those yarn cake things that everybody loves. That was, that was freaking cool. So on Christmas, I planned on wearing my Advent stuff because I did finish it all before our makeup Christmas. And then I guess it ended up being pretty sunny and toasty. And I didn't ever feel like I was cold enough to wear it. And I just was so excited and I forgot about it all. Um, but yeah, it is a snowy day today, so I almost feel like I should go out and take pictures. I think when I, um, like, knitted or however I attached these two together, I messed something up right, like, here and created a little bit of a hole there. It's okay. Um, the fit, I felt like I was trying to give myself more of a looser fit because it is negative ease. Um, and I didn't sw like gauge swatch and I still need to measure this and also measure my scraps and list all that in the projects page. And that, that will come eventually. But um, yeah, so I don't know if I'm really on, on top of the gauge to have actually gotten the looser fit I wanted. I figured that, that the sleeves are fantastic. I just kind of would like a little bit more on the body, but it's technically supposed to be negative ease. So you can like button it up here, which speaking of buttons, like I didn't put any on there yet. I do have the button holes. I don't think I'm going to, I think I'm just going to wear it open and not really have it buttoned up. But Stacy did offer to make me some custom buttons as well, which I think is so amazing since 
this is like totally made by her, you know, like put together all the yarns. And so to think I could also have buttons on there and just think of Stacy when I, excuse me, wear this all together. And this doesn't match at all with this particular project, but it's nice to have used the leftovers to make the little leftovers cowl. I also have not woven any ends on that, but since we have snow, I think I might go ahead and try and get, snap some pictures of these and I might do it with the ends anyways, whatever. Uh, I still believe that a project is complete, even if you don't have the ends woven in. They're, it, it's blocked. I've washed all of these. So to me, blocking, I think, needs to be done to be complete. But weaving in the ends, I feel like you can tuck that and just carry on. And I honestly, if one peeps out, I don't care. I feel like it only proves that much that this was handmade by me or somebody I know, whatever. And um, yeah, I know that I had a lot of people invested while I was making this on my Instagram stories. And I just loved that everybody was loving it with me. And I know some people are making it afterwards now. And I can't wait to see all of them come out. It's Ugh. I love to, I love more Advent projects that are wearable other than just shawls and stuff. Um, yeah. What else did I want to say about any updates? I don't know. I like, okay. So as far as food goes, oh my gosh, I ruined the deviled eggs somehow. They seem to think that it was like the mustard or something. Like it almost has tasted horseradishy like I must have used some kind of wrong mustard but I thought I used yellow mustard um and then they suggested maybe it was a spice like maybe I grabbed the wrong spice while I was making um other stuff there too like because I, I was making the mashed potatoes and I was also making the uh, macaroni and cheese I don't think I did that but maybe I didn't grab the pepper and I did something else like Ugh, because these were the prettiest deviled eggs that I've made in a long time. And, oh my gosh, they were horrendous. They were, uh, they to me, they were not edible. <laughs> I always screw something up. <laughs> anyway, uh, and then I did, the dinner rolls I made were a better success, but also everybody was asking about, like I made a cinnamon butter on Thanksgiving and everybody was asking about the cinnamon butter. So I think that that's gotta be a new staple that I include. So now I'll just do this regular dinner roll. And then I'll also, it's so windy that it just like blew a gust of snow everywhere. That was kind of cool. That would have been a cool picture. Anyway, um, yeah. So I'll just have to make sure that I make the cinnamon butter as well. Cause almost, every single person asked <laughs> and I didn't do it. <laughs> um, I didn't do cinnamon rolls like I normally do. We ended up going out of town like the day before. <laughs> so I did most of my baking the morning before. So I basically spent two mornings like waking up super early. Yeah, I spent the morning before we left doing all the baking for all the gifting of stuff that I was getting, like the cookies and the pumpkin rolls and stuff like that. And then um, the day of I cooked all the little sides. Um, yeah, my, this was like the best turkey my mom, my mother-in-law has made in a very long time. I loved it so much. Oh, I don't normally crave turkey, but I crave that. I had um, an extra pumpkin roll because it was supposed to go to my stepson and so I ended up cutting all that up and we gave, I made little goodie packages and gave them to all the service people, like the trash men and the mailman. And I actually took the rest to the actual post office because we do um, sell on Amazon. And so I, we have like a tiny post office here. So I had enough to like give for everybody that worked there. And I have been wanting to make hats to give to all the service people too. Um, so hopefully I can master my knitting, like the Centro machine a little bit better enough to be able to give hats um, because we are now hitting our cold streak. Like February is usually our coldest month. I guess that is the wrap up of 
the holiday stuff, I might throw in a bit, a little snippet here of my Advent projects in the snow. And thank you for spending your holidays with me, even though I wasn't the biggest holiday spirit, but I'm happy to share my day in the lives with you. And I do hope to share more of that in the coming year. Um, I almost want to say that February is going to be my new year since December was such mush and I'm, I'm, I, I feel like I'm still kind of trying to catch up. Um, and I've been spending my January in that way of a catch up. Yay. It's fine. It's fine. We're all in our own timeline.